So I was asked by a Romanian guy to do a photo shoot for him and his girlfriend while he was here on holiday in Mallorca, but he didn't know the best place to do it. So that's why I helped him out and the best place and location he could go to get down on one knee and propose to his girlfriend that is now his fiance. Hi, Jess here from JC Photography Mallorca and here you will find everything to do with photography and music videos. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I planned a photo shoot that turned into a surprise proposal. So the first step I did is I went to the location to scout out the area to find which would be the best place for him to propose. So I ended up doing the shoot at a hotel called Grand Vista and I took some photos of the place and locations and sent it to him and he decided to choose an area where there was trees and it was more of a private area so it was more secluded so there wasn't many people around. So as far as getting there it wasn't that hard as the hotel was just behind where I live and it was easy for me to get to and for the clients as well. So the spot that me and the boyfriend decided on was a lovely place near the back of the hotel where it had some lovely palm trees in a big green field. So how I was gonna do this shoot, it was gonna be a photo shoot that turned into a surprise proposal. So how I started it was I went to this lovely balcony and took some couple shots of them. And after I took some lovely shots of them that was lovely and romantic, we walked down to where the trees were and I got them to pose there where he was walking ahead and she was holding his hand and looking back at me. And you can see on his face how nervous he looks. So when we got to the location, I had this idea of just taking pictures of just the girl now. And so I said to her, if I could just take pictures of just her and if she looked over her shoulder and when I said so, to look back at me. And so she done that. And then when I said, look back, she was very confused. And then as she looked back, she saw him down on one knee and she had such a nice reaction for it and everything. And she said, yes, which was the good thing. But if any of you guys have any ideas on what you can say to the girl to get her to be unsuspecting of what's going to happen or any good prompts to say, please let me know down in the comments below. So as the shoot was coming to an end, I took some photos of the ring and some nice engagement photos at the hotel. And I got a photo where she held up her hand to the camera saying, I said yes. So you can see some photos that I'm popping up on the screen now of what they all look like. But after we'd done some engagement shots at the hotel, we went down to the beach and took some more coupley engagement shots there too. So the equipment I used was the Canon 5D Mark III that I'm using currently at the moment. And I'll put a picture up here so you can see what the camera looks like. And the lens that I used is also the lens I'm using at the moment, which was the 2.8 24 to 70 lens which i also park on the screen here so you can see what it looks like and the other thing i brought with me was a black marker so he could write on her hand i said yes but that was all the equipment i brought to the shoot so that's how i did the shoot and the equipment i used on the shoot as well but another thing was that i got a lovely review from the customers as well which i'll put up just here and how I sent the photos, I sent the photos to them on WeTransfer and I sent them all the photos so they could share them to their family and friends and they really loved the photos as well. But if you'd like to book a photo shoot with me, please contact me via email on jesscomerphotography at outlook.com. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you got value out of this video and you learned something on how to plan a surprise proposal photo shoot. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you didn't know, I post content weekly. So therefore I'll see you next week. Bye for now.